Hey guys, how's it going? We're back in another Retail Tycoon 2 video and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how you get money trees in Retail Tycoon 2. So I'll basically be talking a bit about how you get them, how they work and you know what they do for your store. So without further, further ado, let's just get straight into the video. So to start off with we are going to be talking about how you actually get money trees. So basically these trees work kind of differently from you know everything else in the game because these are seen as reward items so the way you basically get them is that once you sell a certain amount of a sellable you know any sellable items in the game so it can be it could be a toy it could be clothing like pants or shirt anything as long as you sell a certain amount of those you then get your first money tree so if you go into settings here and then go into stats you can then see here see that there is a list of all the items you have sold throughout the game as you can see here my list is kind of empty here right now but basically what it means is here that when we have for example rc cars or you know rc trucks as it says here and um, there's this little number over here for this it's 8000 and uh, for some others it changes depending on how easy it is to sell the items so for beans it's 10,000 or for some items down here it's only 600 for PC stuff and only even 400 for television and speakers so some are very low but that's because they also take longer to sell. The way you get a tree is that once you have sold 8,000 of them you then get your first tree. So say for example that you want to sell a bean, you have a bean store where you only sell beans then Basically, once you have sold 10,000 beans, in the case of beans here, as you can see uh, with beans, you need to sell 10,000 of them to get your first money tree. So, if we now <coughs> magically sell 10,000 beans, you can then see you now uh, we now earned our first money tree, as you can see here. Well, it actually said we had got three. I'm not really sure why it did that. Did it say 100,000? It does say 100,000. Never mind, that's because I just bought 100,000. But you see, we got the little notification up there, which means that we now have actually we got three notifications which means we have three money trees oh yeah also quick side note i actually forgot to tell this so this is a uh, so i also quick side note i just wanted to say that once you earn your first money tree you also get the um we also get the badge called the richer get richer the rich get richer because you know the more money trees you have the the richer you get but you have to be rich to have the money tree so the more money you have the more money you'll make I just wanted to quickly say that because I forgot to mention it in the main video. Let's move on. So if you go into the belt menu here, you can then now see that in decorations, we now have a new option for money trees, which um, just in here is money trees with the description, boosts your revenue by 1%. Earn a money tree by hitting sell my sells mines milestones for each sellable item. So what does it mean by boosts your revenue by 1%? Well, basically, you sell items for a certain amount. So if you look in here, um, into the this the place here, you can then see toys. You buy them for twenty dollars and you sell them for forty-five dollars. That basically means that your revenue is the number here is the amount you sell. For example, with the uh, what's an easy one for large furniture here, the revenue is a thousand. So when you get one percent of revenue for each thing you sell example for a large furniture one percent of a thousand is ten so that means that instead of selling it for a thousand each you'll then be selling it for a thousand and ten each and um, we can probably see some examples in here um, let me just quickly place down my trees they can be placed anywhere they can also be placed on the roof which is pretty cool so we can actually have, for example have them up here but if you now check some customers here so let's see someone is going to buy something here he just bought a tablet and he bought it for 725 and if you go and check the price of a tablet um, which is under small electronics you can see tablet here is only 700 normally so we got an extra 21 dollars added to the money we just made for free because we just had three money trees so you make 721 for one tablet and that work that is how, how that's how it works for every um supply um no oh, yes that's how it works for every syllable in the game you make so it it, it doesn't only count for example now we see we, we've only sold beans so it doesn't only count for beans um, like like if you let's say if you sold a bean it wouldn't only be the beans that were affected by the revenue change but it's all your items so if you had a hundred money treats spread out for from all the sellable items here that means that all of your items would be worth a hundred percent more 
So if it was sold it for a thousand, that means you'll now be able to sell it for two thousand. So it's a huge bonus for when you're trying to sell something because that means your revenue, your revenue is going to explode exponentially. Not exponentially like that. It's more linear, but basically, if you made, let's say, if you made two hundred thousand an hour in the game, if you like, if you have a grinding store, and you now. Um, and now you have 200 money trees. That means you're going to double, no, actually you're going to triple your revenue. So you go from 200,000 to 600,000 an hour. And that is a lot of money, especially when you're talking competitive. So um, you probably, you'll, probably, you'll probably notice how most of the grinders of the um, retail tycoon are probably going to switch into, they are probably switching to um, money tree um, farms now because you know the more money trees you have, the more money the more money you'll be able to make in the long run so it's more financially viable to get money trees because they boost your net revenue by a lot though be <coughs> sorry i'm a bit sick but basically be aware that these numbers here are subject to change both these numbers in here and also the one percent revenue each they it could go higher it could go lower depending on how heggy feels it affects the game if it's too bad or like if you're growing too fast or it's growing too slow but we'll see that in the future. So yeah, let's just get back to a main store. So yeah, guys, that is basically how money trees work in the game. And uh, you know, if you keep grinding for them, you're going to get a lot of them also, which you can see I have done here with my store, plus my, customi my customization game pass. You can see I've decided to make a rainbow trail all around the, my plot with them. And uh, you can see I have a lot of trees, but that's because, so because I've sold a lot of stuff. As you can see in here, I have sold a lot of each of the items. So. That means I'm also going to have a lot of money trees in the long run. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so just before end of the video, I just also quickly want to mention that this video is one of nine videos that I have just recorded in a session. So um, these nine videos here are basically made to be like a kind of, it's basically a walkthrough of everything new that has been added to the um, game here for the last two months where I haven't really been covering the game. Like I haven't really been uploading anything at all. So I just, I'll just, I'm using these next couple of videos here that I'm making um, for, you know, just, um, just going over everything new that has, that has been added over the last two months. So, um, You'll probably see some stuff that is like very old that you probably already know about, but that's just because I'm doing this just to quickly recover everything. I'm making lots of videos, um, like I started with the Munchies here. I'm going to be talking about the livery drivers, the new manager, and all those kind of stuff, the badges and all that. So um, if you've made it to th this far into the video, um, I just want to tell you guys that so you know what's to come and uh, why I'm doing it like that. But uh, I just quickly want to add that to this so it makes a bit more sense for the one of you that ones of you that hear this because I, that is what I am going to be doing. So if you see something that is a bit old, maybe, um, because you know, the game has for the two, like, it's like some of the stuff is literally two months old already, but I just haven't covered it yet. So that's the reason why. I just quickly wanted to mention that and I hope you'll be, you know, be here sticking around watching the videos, but uh, let's just get to the outro. But yeah, that is basically going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and uh, if you really enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe. But until next time, I'll see you guys then.